Well, I suppose it's about disruption, so um, that like when you go into a gala or perhaps I know when you go to an art opening, I find that you know you go into a certain state of mind and you go from A to B and you, you grab a glass of wine and you talk to your friends and you stay sort of um, contained. Whereas like this will hopefully be a, as I said, like a disruption of that. Um, and perhaps you'll like uh, turn left when you normally would have turned right. You'd have an interaction, uh, a new interaction in a different way. The uh, benefit gala for Rhizome, which I suppose I'm hijacking for the evening. It's a, an immersive performance where everybody is kind of pushed into a hyper extrovert state of mind, I suppose, through like a series of uh, actions and exercises that we've worked on prior to the event. Um, as well as a variety of other techniques. There's a New York element and like also tapping in and rebranding Rhizome to a certain degree, um, sort of playing off their uh, background in technology and how there's this kind of evangelical strand at the moment in new tech how that sort of proposes that the world's problems can be solved through like, yeah, through innovations in technology. I think everyone's the um, the star of their own reality TV show to a certain extent in this uh, performance. And everyone's competing for space almost, so the more they assert themselves, the bigger their role is in the production. So it's like a fighting for this space. And no one's on the same level. Um, so there's a VIP room, um, there's a sense of, which is just designed to create a sense of hierarchy, which I believe exists in these things anyway, but this is just to accentuate it. So like those who aren't a VIP, perhaps there's a possibility to like hustle your way in, to, you know, like, so it's gamifying that, that structure. But like everybody knows what a gala is, they know how to act, they know how to stand, they know how to talk. It's just almost become part of our background knowledge. And I suppose that's what I'm tapping into. And then also perverting that. So we're gonna move from something very warm and light and loving, they do expect to see at a gala in something more disruptive, uh, anarchic and chaotic by the end of the evening kind of um, tapping into perhaps what sits just under the surface a lot of the time. The idea is I suppose that um, I've been working with a few people prior to the event a bit more, so they will be triggering things throughout the uh, evening. But um, hopefully for me, success would be when I lose control of things um, and that I'm no longer directing and things are forming themselves just naturally. Children.